Alex, what to say? Uh, <laughs> I look beautiful. <laughs> and so does my brother. <laughs> I love your bit butts. Oh, I'm making chicken, vegetable, and egg drop soup, and oh, it's so good. Of course, they're gonna have some chicken as well, right? Okay, so you guys, uh, I'm calling this piece Path to the Light, and yeah, it's now live on Etsy. You guys have heard me talk about this so many times, but basically there is a tunnel of trees that lead into a place in Northern Ireland called the Ballynoston Circle. I truly believe it is a hidden gem. I don't think a lot of people know about it, and there's just this really lovely, um, peaceful quietness about it. And yet still, like my favorite part is actually the little tunnel of trees that you have to walk through before you get there. I want to look at the path towards the light. It just really makes me think about the journey of life and sometimes we're just meant to get lost so we find ourselves and it's often, you know, the dirty, gritty roads, pathways that takes us to the most beautiful destinations. Like a lot of my pieces, my hopes is that this brings like a soothing and a peaceful feeling into any room. There's something about nature where it can look messy, chaotic, but like really beautiful at the same time. So I think that's why I'm so drawn to nature, like the whole chaos, because I do feel like it's like life. Okay, lunch time and I'm so excited guys. I like to have it where I put a lot of stuff in it. So it's almost where like a stew, just so it really fills me up. A lot of people like to put sweet corn in it. I like to put cabbage because I feel like I like the crunch. I put loads of chicken in it. Just so it keeps me like feeling fuller for longer. Plenty of eggs. Very proteiny, um, but you know, very delicious. Mm. So good. Mm. I went to visit Granny Bubs over the weekend. And this is always sat in her room and I've always been intrigued. So I asked her about it and she was like, I never use it, borrow it. I've always heard about cupping, you know, had friends do it. Um, they had great experience. And then I asked you guys, and then apparently a lot of you guys have this exact plain set. Um, yeah, supposedly it's helped with you guys so much in terms of like pain management. Apparently like the colors sort of like indicate like you know, whether it's like toxins build up. I don't know, I always think, is it not just like a bruise? You know, like a hickey, but you can see yesterday, I did try it. And apparently I look like a pepperoni pizza. So we're gonna do it again today. Can you help me remove the green part? Are you my little helper? Thank you, you're very good at it. Guys, look what I find. She did another one. Luna finds out that she is a witch by Ayla. So this might be a short story. Once upon a time, there lived a girl called Luna. She lived with her family on her eighth birthday. Her family tells her that she is a witch and she got a broom for her birthday. Is that it? <laughs> I need to hear more. What happened? I got to go to school this school today and I get to wear my normal clothes. Are you going to be off for Easter? Yes. Does that make you excited? Yes. I've had so many responses from you guys that have tried cupping and enjoy it. It's just been like positive experiences from you guys, which is so fascinating. Yesterday, I just kept peeing like constantly all the time. I'm like, why am I peeing so much? And apparently it's kind of like when you get a massage, the draining system is improved and the toxins are being green and that's why you pee more. I don't know, but I'm peeing so much. <laughs> Oh look, I have this beautiful moon of unicorns. Look how metallic it is. It's actually like a seafood color. Just gonna drive them to school and post your prints on the way back. Hey everybody, I'm just on my way to pick up the kids from school. Um, you know, I was packing your orders this morning while I was watching a docu-series. And the docu-series is called Quiet On Set. Especially for their 90s kids growing up, it's a real 
bummer especially. It's a bummer to watch, but you know, as a 90s kid growing up and you know, watching these Nickelodeon TV series, it's just heartbreaking. You know, now as a parent, me watching it, it makes me so mad. Um, basically, it just sheds light on how unregulated and just the dangerous situations a lot of the child actors were put into. Remember when I was a teenager, I loved the Amanda show. I thought it was so funny. From the documentary, the series, kind of goes on to, you know, like, Zoe 101, like, Victoria's. By then, I was older, so I wasn't really watching it. Why were these children put in these situations, and who is that content for? Because it's certainly not made for children. I just want to say... I look beautiful, and so does my brother. Just a little update on the cupping, because I realized... I did a video and I cut off, right? So it didn't show like the other cups that were on. In a nutshell, you know, I've asked if anyone has tried it. I've always been like curious. I've had family members that's done it, um, friends that swear by it. And like I said, I had a lot of very positive uh, responses from you guys. So I decided to try it just by myself. I didn't know it's something that you can do yourself. Probably not as well, obviously, but something that I did. And you know what? When I first tried it, I think I had the cups on for about 10 minutes. And actually felt really nice and I noticed how much lighter I felt going to bed that night. I tried it again that night which was the night you saw Ayla cut me where I got cut off. But yeah basically again I just felt so light and I went to sleep so well. So far my experience of cupping has been interesting. Like I find it really fun and like fascinating to play with. Even if it's not drastic I do feel like the, the effects immediately after um so yeah i'm gonna keep doing that um so the only thing is it's quite hard to do it by myself so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show rg exactly where i want cut and so i'm gonna cut him and he's gonna cut me i mean it'll be interesting because like he laughs when i say like you know just give three to four pumps ayla is adamant that her little dolls are in need of a makeover <laughs> She this is what happened. She became a mom. Yes. She doesn't have time to do her hair. Elsa's going through a midlife crisis. She yes. thought it was a good idea to go off to the enchanting forest. And then she realized, hey, what am I doing? Really yeah, just cut little bit by little bit. I want to spray the hair a little bit. Brand new woman. So this is Elsa, I'll finish. Well, good afternoon, guys. Uh, today is Thursday. Um, it has been a long week. Isaac has always been quite a, I think he's always been quite a sickly child. Bless his little socks because if he's not like sickly, you know, he's kind of in pain. You know, we have been doing a bunch of like blood tests. And at the moment, we're not really going anywhere. I feel like this is probably why he's such a melancholic child. You no, know, I have a very emotional little boy. You know, at the same time, I have a six-year-old that, you know, needs a lot of attention. So um, it has been tough. Ooh, just got very sunny. I just want to chill this week. I knew I always say, oh, I look forward to drawing, but you know what I really want to do? after I upload this, after I process your orders, I am so excited to sit down in my bathtub and read my new books. Yeah, this print right here, Path to Light, um, I'm getting quite a few orders, so thank you so much for your support. It makes me really happy, you guys. Really dig this one. This order right here is actually from a lovely hubby named David, who's getting as a gift for his wife. What a star. And she's framed, guys. I hope you can see. It's quite a dark corner. But um, yeah, it's okay to have a spot for her in my living room. So I'm about to do the workout that Kyle has for me today. It is another circuit. You know how I was telling you guys that it's been a tough week. Actually, you know, this morning, Ayla gave me this little note. And you know how she loves to write little stories. What she loves doing even more so is to write like little letters. She's just so, so very sweet and 
Isaac actually got this little star for hit, hitting his um, target for his um, accelerator reading. He's already got one of these, so he was like, Mommy, you can have it. <laughs> I was like, ooh, me a star? Yeah, I'm gonna take this as a sign. Obviously, it's from my son, but from the universe telling me that, you know, I'm doing a good job, I'm doing okay.